Hi divers, welcome to the 2 Minute Tuesday. Today I show you my favorite and absolutely simple and quick way to calculate nitrox and trimix blends without any gas blending tool coming up. Sorry guys for only having short 2 Minute Tuesday videos within the last weeks. But since COVID-19 restrictions are eased lately, I just have too many classes to teach right now. So this week again just a 2 minute Tuesday. Anyway, this is really a nice tip that helped me sometimes when blending nitrox or trimixes or when talking to people in filling stations or just to show off on a dive floor or something. It's about calculating nitrox and trimix blends without using a gas blending tool on a phone or a computer. And just as a disclaimer, this does not replace a complete gas blender class and is just a quick tip because I made different gas blender classes with different agencies throughout the last years and this tip is not shown very often, but it's yet so simple I think it's worth sharing with you. And it shows very well the power of using standard gases and today I'm really trying to finish this in two minutes. Let's get started. Generally, if you blend a nitrox using the partial pressure method, you first fill oxygen up to a certain pressure and then you top off with air. So at least in my area, this is the most common method. So if you want to blend a nitrox 32, you need to know how much oxygen you need. And that's pretty simple. The oxygen pressure you need is simply 14% of the desired fill pressure. So if you want to have a 32% nitrox at 200 bar, you need 200 times 0.14 equals 28 bar oxygen, meaning you fill up your tank with oxygen up to 28 bars and then top off with air up to 200 bar. If you have some nitrox 32 in your tanks left, the oxygen pressure you have to add to your mix is just 14% of the pressure difference. Short example, you have 80 bar nitrox 32 left and you want to have 200 bar nitrox 32. Now you have to add 120 bars, so the amount of oxygen you need is 14% of 120 bar, which is 120 bar times 0.14 equals 16.8 bar. So if you fill your tanks from 80 bar to 96.8 bar with oxygen and then top with air up to 200 bar, you just get your nitrox 32, just that simple. And this works for trimixes too, you just have to deduct the helium first. Let's say you want to blend A2135, which is a mix that contains 21% oxygen, 35% helium and 44% nitrogen. With a fill pressure of 200 bar, you first need to calculate the helium pressure, which is in our case 35% of 200 bar. So 200 bar times 0.35 equals 70 bar. So 200 bar minus 70 bar equals 130 bar. The oxygen you need is now 14% of these remaining 130 bars. 130 bar times 0.14 equals 18.2 bar. So in most cases, you fill helium first up to 70 bar, then you add oxygen up to 88.2 bar, and then you fill air up to 200 bar. You see, calculating nitrox and trimix is quite simple even without gas blending software if you use standard gases. And of course, this method assumes that the gases are ideal gases and that the tanks do not heat up due to the compression of the gases. If you want to know how to account for these things and get really precise blends, consider taking a full gas blender class where I not only talk about the academics, but teach you as well how gas blending works in practice. Well, guess I did not make it in two minutes again. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. See you there.